Hi everyone, this is Teacher Hayes T and today I'm gonna teach you how to take screenshots very quickly and what's nice about this trick that I'm gonna teach you is that meron siyang uh, plus lalo dun sa DepEd teachers who are into SBM or school-based management. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, I'm just gonna open here a browser window and then head on to Google Meet. I already started a Google Meet call prior to recording so ayan, eto siya. And maybe you're wondering, bakit ako may Google Meet call when this tutorial is about taking screenshots? So first up is that, um, this is also to give credibility that this is screenshots that we do apart from the fact that we have yung, syempre, yung date when it's created. Now, it also saves the name of the window into the file name as well as the date stamp and time stamp. So I'm gonna show you. Right now, we have Google Meet open here. So I'm just gonna take the screenshot right now by pressing the hotkeys. So, ang hotkeys natin, start, alt, and print screen. So, again, that start, alt, and print screen. Ayan. And then, you will see that notification a screenshot is saved. Ayan. And that's part of the Windows 10 game bar. Now, what is the purpose of game bar? Pag inactivate mo yung game bar using start and G, Ito siya, that's it. So, this is actually for gamers, ano, and hindi ko pa siya masyado na-explore, but yeah, that's not part of our agenda today, so i-close ko na ulit siya. But yeah, the screenshot trick that I am teaching you right now is part of that game bar feature. So, ngayon, I'm going to close this Google Meet window, and then start another, and then visit another website, siguro, and then, bago ko gawin yun, I'm going to take a screenshot of this new tab. Again, by pressing the hotkey, start, out, and print screen. There you go. And there's the notification again. And then, I'm going to head now to Facebook. Ayan, that's my Facebook account. Right there. And then, I'm going to take a screenshot again by hitting on those hotkeys. Ayan, so ito siya. And then, maybe I'll also start playing a video. So, punta tayo sa videos ko and then start this video without sound and then take a screenshot of it. There. Yeah. Ano pa bang pwede natin? Uh, Microsoft Word. So, I'm gonna start a Microsoft Word document here from a blank document na lang. So, hello. Right there. And then take a screenshot pressing the hot keys and there you go so ilang screenshots na take natin we'll check that out later so i'm just gonna close this window already that's document one okay and now we're heading back to where we save the screenshots so right on the file explorer window ayan the hotkey naman is start plus e but you can just click on that folder icon right there and dun siya now, you can just head on to videos and then the captures folder. So, dyan siya nasa-save by default, ayan, from the game bar. So, we have five screenshots. Now, maybe you're wondering bakit meet, meet, meet pa rin yung file name. So, open ko siya. Ayan. So, it already has the timestamp, date stamp, and then yung pangalan ng window. Ayan, that's the Google Meet window right there. And then Google Chrome plus the date stamp and the timestamp. And it's saved as PNG. Now, when I close Google Meet and nag-start ako ng panibagong tab, okay, so I took a photo of that tab but it still saved the file na meet yung start niya, meet sa file name na. Why? It's because Google Meet is the first tab that was part of this window. So, technically, meet pa rin yung pangalan ng window na yun. But if I close that entire window and then started another, mag-iiba na yung pangalan ng window. So, let's try it again. I'm just gonna close that and start another and then head on to Facebook. Yeah. So, this is the second Facebook attempt that we're doing. So, start, alt, and print screen. Ayan, and let's head on to captures. Ayan, so ito na siya. So, we already are seeing now yung file name niya nag-change na because we started another window. So, that's Teacher Hasty, Facebook, 
and then may 20 kasi yung number ng notifications ko that I haven't opened yet. No, so, ayan siya. Teacher Hasty and then underscore Facebook, Google Chrome pa rin. So, this is the website name and then the the program name plus the date stamp and the time stamp. Okay? So, that's it. That explains it. So, we have to start another window if you want the file name to change. Okay? So, right now, we're checking yung kanina natin in-open na video that's opened via VLC player. So, eto ngayon yung file name niya. The file name is Bara Senior High School Teaching ng Teaching 2021 Old Building DES. So, eto siya. So, hindi kasama yung photos ito because yung photos is the program that we're using right now to open the screenshot. Okay? So, that's it. Na yung file name niya. Bara Senior High School Teaching ng Teaching. And now, we're opening the screenshot from Microsoft Word. The name of the file is document1 and now we're checking document1-word and then the date stamp, time stamp. And kapag kinlik mo rin, syempre, yung properties niya. Okay, let's say, let's view the details. So, ayan. So, ito na pala siya. Nagmamatch naman din yung time stamp and date stamp dun sa date when it was created. Ayan. So, date created 9-12-2021. Ayan, which matches the date stamp sa file name and then 9:29 p.m. Okay? So 'yon. And that's it for our text tutorials and I hope that you get to use this lalo na kapag nag-iipon na tayo ng artifacts for SBN. And I think this will give us added points, ano, may plus points and sa validator once they see na legit in screenshots and not taken from somewhere else na basta hinugot lang kung saan ito. So, and with that, for more tutorials like this one, you may just follow me and check out my socials at Hazel Angelique Itesoro on YouTube and Teacher Hasty on Instagram and Facebook. See you on our next video!